It's the new game show that's keeping us sane in virus land. It's Pandemic Password with your host, L.A. comedian, podcast host, diehard Detroit Lions fan, and plant-based gay, Jenny McNulty! Hello! Hello! Hi, everyone out there on the World Wide Web. Thank you so very, very much for joining us here on Pandemic Password, that show that's going to get you through the pandemic. Apparently, the show will be airing for the next 17 years. Uh, Before we go any further, I would like to bring on my co-hostess with the mostest, that sister with sass, that chanteuse for Jesus, Sister Mary Agnes LaBia. Thanks, everyone. Really, uh, I appreciate it so much. Uh, thank you. Big, uh, b- big applause for Jenny McNulty, our hostess with the mostest this evening. Uh, of course, uh, for those of you who do not know me, I'm Sister Mary Agnes Labia, L-A-B-I-A. It is Latin, uh, roughly translated. It means beanbags and cabbage. Uh, and of course, I am teaching remotely over at Our Lady of Perpetual Mood Swing near Seattle. <laughs> well, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. And and as as many of you know, as you if you're a frequent uh, viewer of the show here, we 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 did not air last week because Sister got in trouble at the convent. Sister, what did you do? Well, uh, actually, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't terrible. I was just a little uh, uh, I was a little under the weather. Uh, we see we had a betting pool. Uh, the sisters and I at the convent. Uh, uh, we would have to take a drink. Uh, Every time uh, either Trump said fraud or uh, we had to chug every time his legal team lost another case. And so I have actually uh, been uh, uh, kind of uh, out of it for about a week and a half, Uh, just uh, not in very good shape. So that was uh, really, really what was going on. Um, Mia culpa. (laughs) <laughs> quite all right, sister. Quite all right. It's it's so uh, so happy that you're here. And and for those of you that are just joining us for the first time, welcome. Thank you so much. Um, this is a fun little game. And you might be wondering why uh, above my head over here we've got a, a tip jar on, on on someone named Lisa's page. It's Lisa Coke, and Lisa Coke is a really good friend of the show. She and sister. Well, actually, Lisa almost joined the convent until Sister talked her out of it. So uh, that's that's why we've got the tips there. So feel free to tip if you like. And we understand that uh, you may not be able to at this point because, hey, who's been working, really? <laughs> so, in, in which case, just have fun and enjoy the show. Uh, Sister, can you, you want to tell us who we've got with us today? I sure will, uh, uh, Jenny. Uh, first up. Originally from New Orleans, she's a comedian, actor, storyteller. Uh, You've seen her on HBO, Netflix, and tons of television appearances. Please welcome Jen Kober. Hi, Jen Kober. I I have such a bittersweet reaction when I see you, my friend, because yours was the last show we worked together in Florida. It was the last real show we got to do. Uh, It was was so lovely back when we had people. But you know, when I was there, we were doing some promo for the show the week before, and I was at your apartment, and you had just gotten a new new hammock, and you were getting all kinds of fun things. So I want to know what in this whole pandemic, since we met in March, what is the coolest thing you've had ordered or delivered to your house since the pandemic? Well, uh, as someone who's been alone with just a dog through most of this, uh, I ordered a cotton candy machine, which I think we can all agree is a necessity. I also got a snow cone maker, a, a professional grade. It can shave 300 pounds of ice. Oh, Very exciting, uh, and all the syrups, all the syrups that go with it. And I have started a collection of bunt pans. Yeah. One. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I could have my own state fair, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, that's delight. Well, then I can I look forward to coming over and having snow cones. Anytime I welcome any human interaction. I want the cotton candy. <laughs> From six feet away, you can roll it up in a ball and toss it. I'll toss it oh. to you. It'll be fine. Cotton candy balls? I think that's a thing now. Oh, I like it. 
<laughs> Who do we have up next, sister? Up next, this L.A. comedian tours all over the country, has a Comedy Central special, a number one comedy recording, and has a long-running podcast called The Dork Forest. Please welcome Jackie Cation. Yay! I like that you your my Comedy Central special from 2003 is the is the latest uh, credit that you've pulled out. You're not wrong. I did in 2003. That's actually uh, I like that was a, f- a good year, 2003. One of my favorites. <laughs> it is. It was. It it had its moments. It had its moments. I uh, I think I like 98 better. Anyway. <laughs> But as, long as, as long as we're talking good years, you know. So, Jack, now, if you guys haven't seen or, or listened to the Dork Forest, rather, um, like every comedian in Los Angeles, every big name comic, they've all done it. We've been doing You've the, done the, it. Uh, yeah, I, I actually have not yet done the, the Dork Forest yet. What? I know. I know. But what I want to know is. I have a culpa. It. Uh, all of you are welcome to do it. I know uh, that Karen and Jen and Sister Mary Agnes and Chris Ann haven't done it, but I th- swore to God that it was a Detroit Lions. No? All right. Well, this must be rectified. All, all of you are welcome to come and do the dork for us. Attainable goal, you guys. Okay, great. It's, <laughs> it's an hour. You dork out about what you love. Okay, so but what's the dorkiest thing you've ever done? You always talk about our dorky things and all the famous dorky things of all these famous people. What's the dorkiest <laughs> thing you've ever done? Well, it depends how you define. I mean, I would say the dorkiest thing I've ever done in my life is probably when I had my library card had uh, $10 in fines and I wasn't allowed to take books out in junior high, uh, the public library. So I would steal the books and then return them. (laughs) (laughs) That might have been the dorkiest thing I've ever done. (laughs) What an honest soul, an honest soul to be sure. I don't know why I returned them. I just, I was like, somebody else is going to want to read these Louis Labor novels. I know they are. A good girl. You're a good girl. (laughs) So who's up next, sister? Originally from New York, now based in Cleveland, this comedian activist runs the Ha Ha Institute and has been seen on Showtime, Logo, and Olivia. Please welcome Karen Williams. Yes, yes, yes. For those of you who don't know, not only is she an amazing comedian, improviser, teacher of comedy, our dear friend Karen Williams has gone back to school. That's right. She's a sexy co-ed now studying social gerontology. So Karen, tell us, what superpowers do the elderly have? Um, Their loss of hearing really helps sustain them. (laughs) What? Uh, Second only to the loss of taste. Uh, yeah, those things will really keep you here for a while. As one 94-year-old just told me last week, I've lost my sense of smell and my sense of taste, but I haven't lost my sense of humor. Very good. Oh, there you go. That's all you need. That's all you need. And who else do we have with us today, sister? Born in New Jersey, she's a stage and film actor, playwright, songwriter, comedian, improviser, golfer, former swim instructor, and also a Detroit Lions fan. Please welcome <laughs> Chris Ann Eastwood. Yes, hey, Chris Ann. Hello, 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 everybody. Oh, hello, you, hello. Know, you and I share a, a passion for getting the Lions head coach, Matt Patricia, fired. Uh, but here's the question I want you to help me with. This is something people always ask me. And you know what? Other than we're loyal, I don't know what to say. Why is it you're still a Detroit Lions fan after years and years and years of frustration? Well, I recently did 23 and Me, And I spit into the cup and I got my DNA analyzed and my genomes, genoized. And I discovered my ancestry and uh, I found out that I'm almost 4% Jewish. So I think it's, it's the suffering. It's, it's, just, it's the suffering that I just connect with. Um, we haven't won a championship or a Super Bowl ever. We've never been to the Super Bowl ever. We haven't even gotten to the, you know, conference. There is, there is nothing ever. more, there's nothing more Jewish than failing at sports. Thank you. 
you don't have any African American. That's all. <laughs> oh, and much to my dismay, because my childhood dream was to be a Harlem Globetrotter. And oh, sorry. <laughs> so they're not going to make an exception for me. No. Uh, also no Irish and German. So fuck you, dumb coughs. See. <laughs> have a drink. Yeah, have a well, drink. All righty then. You have now met our illustrious panel today. Uh, sister, you want to go ahead and bring out your, your magic ruler and tell us all the rules and what it, the heck it is we're going to be doing. Why the hell not? All right. Uh, so uh, Karen Williams and Jen yes. Cooper, uh, you are from New York and New Orleans. So we're going to call you Team New. Ooh, Team New. All right. Boom. And Jackie Cation, uh, of course, you've got the Dork Forest and uh, you're a big sci fi fan. Chris Ann Eastwood, uh, you have uh, been on Jeopardy and you've yes. looked at dead bodies on criminal minds. Uh, yes. You are our Team Smarty Pants. Team oh. Smarty Pants. All right. That should give them a little head start. Okay. So here's I'm the wearing, rules. All right. I'm pay, wearing pay. corduroys. That's what smart people wear corduroys. Oh, that's that's yes. good. <laughs> That's, That's right. good. I wouldn't uh, advertise that too loudly if I were you. All right, here we go. These are the rules. Listen. At least you have pants on. That's a good thing. Listen up. <laughs> Listen up. Okay. A contestant from each team receives the password, and they must give a clue, which their partner then tries to guess. If you guess incorrectly, play passes to the next team until the password has been guessed. Remember, you cannot use any form of the password in your answer, or you will hear this. <clears throat> And remember, your clues can only be one single word. All right, Ooh. let's play Pandemic Password. All right. Woo All right, we've got you teamed up. So we're going to have the first round, Karen and Chris Ann are going to be giving the clues, which means okay. Jen Cober and Jackie Cation, we need you to cover up your eyes. And if you're playing at home, cover your eyes or look away while sister reads the clue. The password is... Okay. Got it. All right. If you're looking at home, you may also look. Jackie and Jen, uncover your eyes. First clue up goes to Karen. Go ahead, Karen. One word only. One word only. Okay. Um, uh, uh, dismiss. Fired. No. Over to you, Chris Ann. What is that noise? No, no, no. Election. Election? Canceled. No. Back to you, Jen, or Karen. Relinquish. Concede. Oh, <laughs> there they go. Nicely done. Nicely done, you guys. Woo! Thank you, Jen. You rock. I told you I was here to win, baby. That's what we're we going to do today. We're going to win. Oh. Sorry, oh, Jackie. All right, then. Now it's Jackie oh, and Jen's turn to give the clue. So let's see if the, if the Smarty Pants team can catch up. Um, if you are, yes, go ahead and cover your eyes. If you're playing at home, please cover your eyes. Go ahead, sister. The password is. Got it, Jen? Yes. Uh, all right. If you're playing at home, you may look. And uh, Karen and Chris and you too may uncover your eyes at this point. Now, Jackie Cation, you are up first this time. Go ahead. Giuliani. Crazy. <laughs> True, but not the word we're <laughs> looking for. All right, back over to you, Jen. All right, here we go, Karen. Eyelash. Battery, batter? No, I'm not. <laughs> Those people with their wicked eyelashes beating people up with them. No, that is not it. <laughs> we got a chance here, Chrisanne. Okay, all right. all right. Liner. Mascara. No, there you go. There you ah. go. Good job. My and I would like to give Jen Cober some points for knowing mascara goes on the eyelashes. That was <laughs> good, good, Jen Cober. I just was thrown off by, by Giuliani. I didn't get it. Most, they were saying that's what that was, where it dripping down oh, his face was I either mascara. See, I or thought something. it was I thought it was hair dye. I didn't know. Well, I, I, have, I have put 
mascara on my grays when I'm wearing grays, wigs. Yeah. That's what so. they think he he co covered it with, and it, he didn't use a waterproof, and it drained, oh. drained down his face. Oh, I thought it was hair dye. I didn't yeah. really check. Obviously, okay. he needs to go on to RuPaul's show and learn some makeup. One. Yes, I guess yes. so. I was on a RuPaul show, just saying it doesn't help. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you. Hey! Oh! oh. Uh, all righty then. Okay, here we go. The third word. So we got Karen and Chris Ann giving the clues again, and Jen and Jackie. We need you to cover oh, your eyes. If you're playing at home, cover your eyes as well, or look away, sister. The password is. Got it. All right. If you're playing at home, you may look. And Jackie, you can uncover your eyes now too. All right, Karen, you are up first to give the clue. Adding. Counting. Go ahead, uh, Chris Ann. Confirmation. Cobra. Now, um, the Supreme Court. No. Two words. Two words. Back over to you. Yeah. Votes. Certify. No. <gasps> Back to you, Chris Ann. Checking. Uh, is there any way to get all? No, there's probably no way to have somebody remind me what the words were. So I'm probably going to say something. Confirmation. No. Right. One, more, one more sentence. try. Go ahead, guys. One more time, Karen. Checking. Count. No. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> All right, go ahead, Chris Ann. You get get one more try then. Again. Recount. Yes. yes. All right, sister. I'm not quite sure how we score that one. I will leave that up to you. Well, again, that was tough because you said counting before and yeah. Yeah, we yeah, were for recount. I, I think uh, I think the team goes to uh, uh, team oh, team smarty pants there. Yeah. It's a fluke. There's it's a fluke. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, you got another chance. You got one more word going out. So we're gonna have one more time. Jackie Cation and Jen Cobra are gonna give the clues. And we need Chris Ann and Karen Williams to cover up your eyes. If you're playing at home, go ahead, look away or cover your eyes. All right, sister. The password is. All righty. And you may now look, Chris Ann and Karen, if you're playing at home, you too may look. Jackie Cation, you're up first. Go ahead, one word. Toddler. Trump. <laughs> True, <laughs> but no. Right. Temper. Tantrum. That's it. That was the <laughs> word I was looking for. Well done. Well done. Nicely done indeed. Oh. Nicely done indeed. Well, 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 you guys. That was quite the impressive round. It was. Um, and uh, let's see. We've got a few people looking here. Let's see if anybody's got any comments for you. Well, Sister Tally's up the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our teams are tied, Jenny. They're tied. Oh, really? Well, yeah. look at that. It's okay, two to two. All right, I'm having trouble getting to the page here. All right, let's go on to the next game. Then I will check your comments in one second. The next game up, oh, my favorite game to play. It's called Best Next Line. And this is where our guests get to show off their skills. Sister is going to uh, be a singing nun, and she's going to grab that guitar, as you've seen her in her hands now. She's going to play a song and sing a common song we all know. Each of you will get the chance to get an individual song. It's going to count toward your team score so you will uh she's gonna play and sing and play and sing and play and sing and then stop 
wherever she stops, when it's your turn, you just have to sing whatever the next line is. Now, if you know the next line, great. If you don't know it, make something up. We're really not so much giving you scores based on whether or not you know the lyrics. It's the gusto with which you present it. So, and I would just like to add, um, it's I'm bored here, so I will give extra points if you entertain me. And that could be uh, a, a, an, an interpretive dance, uh, touching yourself inappropriately, uh, eating snow cones, things like that. Uh, so uh, uh, I, when I point to you, uh, that's that's your time, all right? And uh, don't sing with me because it doesn't work well on, on Zoom when we sing together. It's very sad. Okay, Jackie, you are first up. Are you ready? Now, we do have a little theme going here. These are all songs from 1961. Uh, all right. Now, I know, uh, uh, Jen uh, Kober, you were l long, uh, not even a thought at that point. Uh, but I do know that uh, that you're a Renaissance woman. So these are all uh, hugely popular songs. You won't have any problem. Right. <laughs> hugely popular in Hugely popular with my group, the Boomers. Okay. So, Jackie, here we go. Are you ready? Tonight you're mine, completely. You give your love so sweetly Tonight the light of love is in your eyes You something something uh, discreetly It was all about uh, adultery I have no idea <laughs> the next line I have no idea that was perfect. It was and good. Chris it was about like, adultery. Come on. <laughs> yes, that was exactly what it was about. You know what? I did not know the song either. I, nicely done, Jackie oh, Cation. By uh, one year, I wasn't born yet either. And so I, I appreciate bored. not knowing the song. But you know what? I, I love that you not only just went with it, you, you filled in the blanks with the something, <laughs> and then you gave your assessment of the meaning. It was, I'm gonna give you a thousand points for just like doing your own thing on that song. This is, yeah. a, this is a beautiful karaoke moment. What the hell? Yes, well, actually, uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you a few less points, but I am giving you two points, Jackie. Even oh. though you didn't know the correct words, you, you hummed the tune, so you were familiar with the tune, and then you did say that it was about uh, 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 people uh, uh, Bad life adultery places. it was about yes. adultery yes. yes and that's essentially no but uh, uh carol <laughs> but king's, it's funny carol king's husband uh <laughs> was an adulterer so close enough all right written by carol king um so you get two points thank, thank you awesome. all right karen my dear yes. good yes. job jackie this goes out to karen okay here we go <laughs> don't know much about history don't know much biology Don't know much about a science book Don't know much about the French I took But I do know that I love you And I know that if you love me too Who wonderful world it would be I don't know, I think something yes, like that Yes, that, <laughs> that was very good, dear that was perfect, spot on. Thank I'm you. gonna give you 500 points for knowing the words and singing it, and then another 500 for miming it afterwards. That yeah. was pretty delightful. <laughs> I gave you two points, Karen. Thank you so much. You got the correct words, <laughs> and you. then you you did that little interpretive dance. Yes, I did do it. makes me very happy. I just yeah. hope no black people will hold this against <laughs> that's, me. That's right. We don't know the difference, dear. Yeah, it looked like you had serious rhythm from here. <laughs> So, all right. Now, next up, next up is Chris. All right. Here we go. I was all right for a while. I could smile for a while. But I saw you last night. You held my hand so tight as you stopped to say hello. Oh, you wish me well. You couldn't tell that I was crying over you, crying over you. Million points. That was a million. 
Fantastic. Oh my I did God. I had we no did idea. Excellent. Excellent. Oh my, my goodness. Wonderful. She had to put on her guitar and everything. You're such a show off. Well, you can't <laughs> stop a lesbian full figure when there's a brain <laughs> full of lesbians. You know what? I was going to give you 2,000 points. And uh, and you know what? That comeback from Karen, to Karen, there's another 500 points for that because uh, you can't. Keep a lesbian, sadly, you can't keep a lesbian folk singer. <laughs> that is true. And Chris said, I gave you, I gave you three points because uh, not only did you know the words, not only did you have a guitar at hand, but you, yeah. you, you yeah. Actually, uh, played it in the correct key. Uh, <laughs> if I had known, I would have grabbed my saxophone. I didn't know that we could just pull out instruments. You okay. can, you can pull it out, Judy. Just Pull it out, yeah. Your keys work. That's nice. Oh, look, Jen's running for something now. Uh oh, she's getting the snow coat maker out. Hold on, hold on. Bring that snow coat. Oh, oh, okay. uh -oh here oh, we go. Here's, oh. the great here's the great part. I don't play guitar. Oh, good. Doesn't matter, dear. Doesn't matter. Just yes, hold it. It looks good on you. Looks good. Thank you. It's very slimming. It's very All right, now don't don't play with me. All right, Jen. Uh, you, you're up last here, and here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, I know you're gonna know this. Here we go. Uh, well, I'm the type of guy who will never settle down. Where pretty girls are, you, you know that I'm around. I kiss them and I love them, cause to me they're all the same. I hug them and I squeeze them, they don't even know my name. Cause I'm the wanderer, yes I'm the wanderer. I wander around, 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 around. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Cobra, I'm giving you 5,000 points for that. You got that gritty throat stuff going on. I, I wanted some spray just listening to you sing. It was awesome. You did a little bit of a shimmy and right there. Around oh, to oh, get her guitar. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was good. Uh, Jen, I gave you three points because <laughs> you knew the actual word. You sang the hell out of it, and you did. I got to see the girls shake a little bit. Yeah. You yeah. gave me just a little boob action, which is, uh, uh, as I said, yes, exactly. Boobs work for me. So uh, three points, which means, uh, which means, We're still which means our teams are tied. <laughs> Look at that. And are, are you guys still getting interference out there? Are you guys, because a couple people are saying there's interference. Anyone out there, let us know if it's still there. Uh, we got everybody's uh, out there saying hello. Um, and uh, this is making my night. Thank you, Alexis. We appreciate you being here. Uh, Carol is laughing with us. Everybody likes your singing, sister. Ooh. And uh, more people on the noise. Let us know. The corduroys are crackling. Kathy thinks your corduroys are crackling, crackling Jackie. Oh, the corduroys are crackling. Yes, there we have go. some there sort of go. ambient noise there. I don't know what it is. It's, it comes All right, and they all knew it was, will you still love me tomorrow? Either that or they're all having an affair online here. I'm not exactly sure. And Carol just choked. I hope you were. I hope that was with laughter and not really choking. Although, why the hell would you write, I just choked, if you were really choking? That she wouldn't would make have, much she sense. Would, she would have written Heimlich. Yeah, exactly. Carol, write Heimlich next time. All right. Here we go. The next game up is what, sister? Uh, the next game tests your knowledge about weird facts. This is called For Reals or Fake News. Jenny will now uh, give you each a series of factoids. You have to determine is that fact true or a big fat lie. You may help your partner if they are truly sucking. All righty. Here we go. All righty. So uh jackie you are first up on this one you ready yep okay stacy abrams was her high school valedictorian that is true that is a fact we've established that so high school valedictorian and savior of georgia stacy abrams once are participated in a flag burning for reels or fake news um i got nothing you got nothing? I feel like she would have, but I I, I feel like I know that she has the right to do it. That's yes. what I know. That's <laughs> what I know. Uh, but here's uh, but I think that's uh, fake news uh, fabricated to make people hate her because uh, mm. people aren't very bright. 
So fake news. Well, it's actually for real. Oh, okay. When she was a freshman at Spelman, uh, she protested the Georgia on the Georgia State Capitol steps because at the time the Georgia State flag still incorporated the uh, Confederate battle flag. Oh, so, wait a minute! I did, if it would have been the state flag, then I would have said yes. But I <laughs> thought you meant the U.S. flag. But so be it. So be it. That's all right. Ow. Yeah, all right. flag I just burning. Said a right? flag burning. All I'll, right, I'll, I'll bag. I'll burn a confe- I'll wipe my ass with a Confederate flag. Fuck it. <laughs> it's uh, them and their participation trophies oh, can uh, eat a dick. I think you really actually get anal <laughs> cancer that way, though. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's because one of those deliverance guys gets up there. What? Exactly. Uh, all right. So <laughs> let me see here. We have uh, Karen Williams. You're up next. Are you ready? You ready, Karen? All I right. I think so. Donald yes. Trump's father, not Donald, but Donald Trump's father, being as you're studying social gerontology, I'm throwing this one back a little bit. Donald Trump's father's middle name is Christ. Ew. <laughs> I don't think this is true. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's Chekhov. You should never introduce a gun into his plot. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're going to say no? You're going to say that is fake news? That is for reals. Frederick oh. Christ Trump. Okay. There we go. The nurse is just running the family. Fred, Fred, Frederick Christ Trump. All righty then. Uh, here we go. So up next we have, okay, that's what happened there. All right. So Jen Cobra, are you ready? You listen? All right. We got a vaccine on the way and hopefully this is all going to be a thing of the past for our current pandemic. But in the pandemic of 1918, one third of the population ended up being infected, of the world's population. One third of the world's population ended up being infected. Are you Googling that answer right now, Jen Cobra? Okay. She's Googling. Foul. I saw the play. My, my phone's over here. I'm getting dust off my guitar. Uh, it's, I think that's true. I think that's true. It is for reals. 500 million people got it last time, which was at the time a third of the world's population. All right. You there ready, Chris? There was no science back then. There was no yes. science back then. I was going to say, and there was no counting. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, you ready, Chris? Absolutely. Pigs in Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Spain have had to be killed because they've been infected with COVID-19 and they're afraid of it spreading to humans. Pigs in Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Spain had to be killed because they were infected with COVID and they're afraid of it spreading. I thought it was mink. I thought minks were being killed. Oh. They, were, they were killing minks in Denmark. Let's see. I know they were killing comedy in Finland because they just don't have a, <laughs> a lot of laughs in Finland. They're killing Eve on Netflix. What's your What's your final answer, dear? I'm going to say fake news. You are correct. It was minx in all of those places. But well, the pigs are still not out of the gold because since 2016, pigs have been getting sick with another coronavirus, uh, which is the Swine acute diarrhea syndrome, where the pigs get really bad diarrhea. Delicious, delicious. Swine acute diarrhea, sad. (laughs) (laughs) You should get your pants. Tie, right, sister? Hey, India. Are we still a tie? No, no. She's got to do the. She's got to do the the magic. um... (laughs) Yes, it's a tie. Damn tie. You are all tied up. All righty, fantastic. We got some more people watching. We got T in Michigan watching saying it's cold there. I'm glad I'm no longer there. That's why I'm here now, T, and not there. All what, right, uh, Carol, we're Michigan. killing you with laughter. Good. I'm glad you're not really joking. That's wonderful. That's uh, um, T from Michigan. T from Michigan. Uh, thanks uh, Thanks to your, your state, uh, Trump has now uh, basically said that uh, the Biden campaign can go ahead with the transition. Because so nice um, of him. Yes, to Michigan agree. That's right. To well, acknowledge go. that he lost. That's right. Big loser. Thank. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Concede. Okay. 
What do we got up next, sister? Next, it's time to test your team trivia knowledge. All right. We're going to start with Team Smarty Pants. Now, this is a, 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 a question for both of you. All right. Here is your question How many kids does Angeli Angelina Jolie have? Oh, How many children <laughs> does Angelina Jolie have? None of them are mine. That's what I do know. <laughs> um, she keeps adopting kids. I think it's like seven. It's six or seven. I don't know. We have, what's our final answer? It's, she's got a lot. It's a lot. Some came out of her. Some came out of other people. Rocks. Right. There you know, was uh, there was some sort of, there was some loose. She's, I'm going to shoot. Yeah, what do you like? Six. You think, I think I like six. I got six kids six in Brady my bunch family. Of... I'll do there it. You go. I like it. Six. So one was six. Six. And that is correct. Woo! Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right. You know next Sometimes. up, now the next question, Jackie Cation. We had to make sure your team didn't get it because I know you would have known this next answer. But go ahead, sister. All right. This is a question for Team New. All right. Here we go. Your question is, what day is Star Wars Day? Oh, oh, oh! I got it. Oh, what is it? What is it? May the fourth. Like May the fourth be with you. Like May. The oh, 4th. okay. That makes sense. It's May the fourth. That's final answer. Yes. All final right. Answer. I would have, I wouldn't have known that. That's because oh. we're too old, dear. That's right. that was super, 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 super easy. Why don't you say what day was independent? Oh, you know what? I knew that Angelina Jolie had six children. See, there you Who go. Who would know oh, that? I know that because I know everything about them. <laughs> she was a Tomb Raider. <laughs> And our teams are still tied. Or was she a boom collector? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the boom. Lesbian Codependent Show. Uh, so, and Jackie. <laughs> and Jackie. <laughs> yeah, my sexuality for years was just drunk. And, uh, it's, and now it's monogamy. So uh, enough, you can yeah. pick whatever you like. They'll never oh. confirm your husband is not just a very butch woman. <laughs> That's, he was bisexual for a long time, and then, um, and not that long, but long enough, huh? Prison, huh? ladies and gentlemen, long and enough. then, and then, um, and then now we're both monogamous. That's our sexual. Oh, very good. Very good. Yes. Well, there we go. Good to know. All too, right. Too much. Too much. Yes, you're sorry. You're a lesbian because much. that's called overshare. Too much. And I'll do that. Okay. All oh, right. Sorry. I'm going to hit myself just for fun. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. All righty. If they're tied, uh, let's see. Who do you want going first there, sister? Uh, you you choose. Uh, All right. Well, let's put up let's put up team science. Let's put the pressure on team science at first. All right, because they're they're claiming they got an e the other team got an easier question. Uh, um, all team right. Smart, team Smarty Pants. Team Smarty Pants. Team Smarty Pants. That's right. It. Yes. Team Smarty Pants. Sorry. And team Smarty Pants. Try to stay with the show, Flo. <laughs> we're, we're going to, we just we just have, fell asleep for just a second. Uh, but our last game is the lightning round of ridiculousness. And these are names of things that you that may or may not have anything to do with our current global events. Uh, you'll be given clues by your teammate. You have 45 seconds to guess as many words as you can. If you are stumped, pass. You can always come back to it later. But the whole idea is speed for this game. Now, clue givers, you can be as descriptive as you like. You can say as many words as you like. Give us a, a, just just talk, talk, talk until they guess it. But do not use any form of the answer in your clue. All right. And uh, so you guys are gonna have to decide amongst yourselves who's gonna give the clues and who's gonna receive the clues. And the person receiving I the like clues. You. you wanna give, Karen? Yeah. What are you feeling? Karen, do you wanna do, Chris? Okay, Karen is a top, I got yeah, it. I you want me to give? Yeah, do you wanna pitch or receive? I'll pitch, wanna... I'll pitch, I'll okay. pitch. All right, which means uh, then Jackie Cation, you'll either have to cover your eyes or turn sideways or in some way so that you can no longer see the thing. But we have to be able to kind of like, let us see your oh. mouth though so that we can, there we go. So we need to be able to hear what you're saying. All right. So, Team Good Smarty side. Pants, you, Team Smarty Pants, you're up first. Yes. I'm going to say this twice, and then Sister's going to go ahead and start the clock and give you words, so you'll you'll be on ready to roll. Okay. So, Team Smarty Pants, these are things that you find at the North Pole. Things that you would find at the North Pole. All right. And we're going to go right now. 
The fat guy in the red suit. Santa Claus. Yep. Elves. Uh, the white stuff that falls from the sky. Snow. Uh, the little guys who build the toys. Elves. The, the four-legged animals that pull the sleigh. Re reindeer. Uh, the thing that the uh, reindeer pull. The sleigh. <laughs> uh, the, the white big things uh, that are going extinct in the North Pole. Oh, polar bears. Uh, the things that Santa puts in your stocking and under the tree. For kids. Uh, not coal, but for, candy for kids. and toys. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Inuits used to be called... Eskimos. And they Correct. Had, uh, igloos. Wow. And, uh, right. My goodness. You, okay. you know, Miss Karen, you better be ready, girl. Yeah, ready, that girl. just may be a record. I'm not quite sure. Team Smarty Pants living up to their Ooh. name. Oh, no. All right. Team Smarty Pants, you got, you got all of uh, them correct. And that was eight clues. Yeah. Wow. I think, Jackie, all we need to go right, on. All right, Team New. You got this. All right. So I like that's a good way to do it right there, Jen Cober. Okay. So it looks like Karen is going to give the clues. So again, I'm going to say this, say this twice, give you a second to think for both of you, and then sister will go ahead and start. All right, team new. These are things that melt. Things okay. that melt. All right. Ready? And here we go. Um, the big round white uh, thing in the yard that kids make in the winter. Oh man! Uh, uh, something you light uh, Fire. to see to see that you light to see that uh, sometimes it's scented. She got it. She said it. Okay. She got it. Go. A um, uh, uh, mean mean uh, woman on a stick. Witch. There you go. Um, uh, something you slather on corn. Butter. Uh, something that you color with. Crayons. Um, something that you put on a sandwich that... Uh, uh, um, some Those mountains of white stuff. Very good. Ah, nicely done, you guys. Nicely done. You have one second. Mountains, mountains of white stuff, Jen Cobra. One second, go. Mountains of white stuff. I would have said... Uh... Icicles. I didn't. Exactly. Not, it was not an there. iceberg, but a. Uh, yeah. Nicely done. My goodness, you guys. We're both Team Smarty Pants over there. My yeah, goodness. <clears throat> so, um, what we'll do? We'll take. Uh, let me just see if anybody else has added any fun comments here to say hello. Um, uh, ice, ice. She would have said ice with you. All right. And we have a new Hollywood Squares. Yes, you do. And. Uh, great job, Team Smarty Pants from uh, from Cindy there. Congratulating you, you well. Cindy. Sarah Thank says you. that was awesome. Thanks so much for commenting and watching. So let's go around the room here and find out while Sister tallies up all the points here. Uh, let's <laughs> go around. Chris Ann, what you got going on? What you doing? Well, Jenny, I have done several remote auditions on my phone, and I have not booked any roles. So... <laughs> I am smiling through failure, which is 99.9% .9 of an actor's life. That's, that's true. You are living the actor's life right now. I am living Maybe it Maybe you hard. do it on your laptop. Maybe it's your phone. Maybe it's my phone. I think, yeah, fuckers, Apple. Now on, do your auditions <laughs> on your laptop. Yeah. Yes. You're just probably studying sexy co-ed. What you got? Oh, I've been doing so many shows. It's been incredible. I'm doing just, I mean, the humor and healing part. People need the healing power of humor. I am like healing people. I'm smacking them in the head virtually and just really helping people to get their laugh on. And it's been really wonderful for me. I too, Chris Ann, I just uh, submitted a, um, a, a voiceover thing for a, some animation series. So yeah, it's very exciting, but I'm on break from school and I'm still doing a lot of shows and stuff. So Good for you. What, do you have any shows coming up immediately that you remember that you can tell us about? No, not that I did them all last <laughs> week. I've got some coming up December 10th, December, but I don't remember the details. All right. Well, December. so we can go to your Facebook page. Where, where would they find that out? Absolutely on my Facebook page, Karen okay. Williams and Karen Williams comic. All right, great. And Jackie Cation, what what are you doing or should I not bring that up? Oh, no, uh, I do. I, I've been working on my new album. And so I've been doing essentially Sunday services every Sunday. 
I work on a different chunk of what promises to be the longest comedy album ever made because <laughs> I, when we went into lockdown, it was 45 minutes. It was an hour, needed work for 15. Now it's at an hour and a half. 15 still needs work. Weird. <laughs> anyway, uh, follow me on, uh, you can sign up for my email list is the best way. It's at JackieCation.com. And it's harder to get on the list than to get off. It takes three clicks to get on. It takes one click every time you receive an email to go unsubscribe. No harm, no foul. But that's how you would find out things. And then I made a vision board because I want to do voiceover work. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jen Cobra, what you got going on? Hello, friends. Uh, I am actually on an animated series that is... Yeah. Yay! Yay! About to come out. I don't think I'm supposed to say anything about it, but that's happening. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I have an illustrious world tour uh, that's coming in like 2025. I feel like. Maybe, um, it's, it's gonna well, they still have us actually on their on their thing for August. You and I are going to um, to New Hope in August of next year. Wow. Uh, if that happens, God bless America. I hope. Okay. That's I'm still, I'm still hoping that the COVID goes down long enough for me to get to Louisiana for Christmas so I can see the girl I like. Like, this is this is where my world is. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, hope so. Let's hope we can all do that. And uh, we want to wish you all a very safe Thanksgiving. If you don't have to go home, don't do it. You just stay home this year if you can. Yeah, stop. Uh, please yeah. stay home. It's a new share song. Please stay home. Uh, yeah. Mask up. Mask up. Mask up indeed. If you do have to go wash your hands, all them good little things. Sister, do yeah. you have the magic magic um, number? Well, first, dear, uh, I, I want to ask uh, what you're doing, and I wanted to talk oh, about oh. what Lisa Koch is doing as well. Oh, right. Yes, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Well, I'm uh, this week we're doing, um, I'm doing a couple of reruns on Wednesday and Friday. I'm going to have a little bit of new information, and then some of my old, old, old walking funny. I just showed Aaron Foley today along with a, a quick intro. So I'll be there Wednesday and Friday for a quick minute, and then you're going to see a really fun um, of my old show, Walking Funny. And then starting next Monday, we are closing out the year, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with 10 reasons, the next 10 shows, 10 reasons why 2020 didn't suck. Oh. It's going to be really hard. It's wow. going to take me all week to figure out 10 reasons why it didn't suck, but that's what I've got coming up. Very good. Very good. Yes. Uh, I, I just I, wanted to I, mention. I like to, oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that one of them is that you're still living indoors. Why don't you start there, yeah. lower the bar, and go forth with your gratitude. <laughs> that sounds like a good one. <laughs> Keep it low is what I always say. Um, I need to mention that uh, my good friend, Lisa Koch, uh, uh, boy, she's just a beautiful woman, lovely. Uh, mm. Everybody just loves her. Uh, she's so nice and so smart. Wow. So smart. Wow. And a friend to animals. Uh, so uh, Lisa <laughs> has been doing concerts about once a month. And she'll be doing a concert uh, on December 2nd, Wednesday, December 2nd. Uh, and you can go to her website. Uh, she hasn't actually announced it yet, but she's announcing it uh, sh uh, right in the back of the room. She's whispering in my ear. So, uh, yes, December 2nd, more songs, uh, more, uh, more parodies, uh, w talking about uh, current events and singing and, and so uh, blowing it all out, singing, singing along, things like that. So. And you can find out all of that for her at heylisa.com. At heylisa.com. All oh. right. Well, here's the big uh, the big news. It was very close. Uh, it was the last game that uh, that took uh, Team Smarty Pants over the edge, and Team Smarty Pants is our oh. big winner. Woo! Yeah. I'm so sorry. Was it a big win or was it a squeak? Did we win? Oh, no, it was a squeak. It was a squeak. <laughs> I think we won by one point. You won by squeak. one point. You I did. actually, yeah, I actually You won it. by a glacier, actually. It was a glacier. You <laughs> won by a glacier. So I'm telling you, these, these teams are, are very well matched. I'd, I'd love to see, uh, see, see you all on again. All right. Go down. 2021, you guys are all coming back for a rematch. Rematch of Smarty yeah. Pants and the New. Yeah. You're all welcome to do the dork for us, by the way. The dictionary. 
Okay. Well, there's not going to be a pandemic password tournament of champions. Oh, well, oh, we should, okay. shouldn't we? Yeah. Yes. That's hilarious. Oh. Oh, we're going to have to find some gifts for that. But in the meantime, you don't win anything. We have nothing. Uh, we haven't been you... working for a long ass time. So uh, you get nothing. Bupkis. <laughs> But uh, you do get a chance to spend about an hour with your good friends uh, right. laughing and singing and trying to be smart. And we like that. We're, it's all wonderful. So we want to say goodbye to our contestants, Karen Williams, Chris Ann Eastwood, Jackie Cation, and Jen Kober. Goodbye. Bye, you guys. Tune in in next week, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 East. For Pandemic Password. Bye, y'all.